Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat, and I'm here today with another Crafty Traveler's Notebook, and I'm featuring eyelets from the eyelet outlet on this project. I love these eyelets, they were so pretty, and they just sparkle like diamonds, so I was determined to use them. And I'm just showing you here quickly the hearts in the center of all the rings and then the products that I used and I will make sure that I link the holiday wreath the magnolia sakura branch die the brads that I use the washi tape that I use as well as the McGill tools I will try to link the McGill tools but um, I really don't remember where I got them what I will do is I will look I will find wherever I can get the best price and I will try to link that in the description box guys I know that crafting is not a cheap hobby and so wherever I can get the best price because I want the, mo the most for my money and that's what I want to share with you guys and you see here that I started out with hot glue I didn't stick with hot glue. <laughs> I hate hot glue. I really don't know how you guys work with it. I ended up um, accidentally flinging one of the flowers across my desk. And as I reached to get that flower that was stuck to me, there are those tools. They're phenomenal, by the way. And so as I reached to get the one that I flung across my desk, I laid my thumb up against... <laughs> the tip of the hot glue gun burnt myself then I was trying to make another one and the hot glue I got it on but it touched one of the other petals and that caused the flower to fold in on itself and then it wouldn't get off my finger it was stuck to my finger and I was like mm -mm, that was it mm -mm. I switched to Fabri-Tac which is a real thick glue and I needed something thick because the bottom of the eyelets were recessed and the flowers were too narrow in the center to use the um, actual brads through so I had to take a pair of wire cutters and cut those off because I was determined to use those brads I thought they were so pretty and so I'm just giving you a close-up here of how the wreath is gonna look I've got two pink two purple and three of the um, turquoisey blue flowers they all came out of my scrap bin so I really couldn't tell you where the paper is from or anything sorry about that and I'm just laying it on to get it where I want it to be and making sure I've got you know everything the way I like <clears throat> and anywhere the glue got I was using those little tweezers that come in that McGill set to pull the glue loose because that is the good thing about Fabri-Tac if you get it somewhere you don't want it give it a little bit it'll thicken up and you can just pull it off like a hot glue string only you don't get burnt <laughs> and I'm using my art glitter glue here and I'm just making sure that I get this coated really well because I want to make sure that nothing is sticking up because I don't want to risk having you know having it pull loose if when it goes in and out of someone's purse or craft bag or whatever and I'm just using my 3 16 inch glue dots these work perfect for putting down small pieces so I'm using those to put my flowers on with and you notice there see the little the center is moving that's because I switched from hot glue mm -hmm. I only need to burn myself once and I'm smart enough or twice usually in this case it was twice <laughs> and then I'm smart enough to figure I need to switch to something else so I'm just putting them on where I want them and you can do this a couple ways the first one was the way I was doing it and then I switch and I go ahead and show you that you can just rip off the glue dot attach it to where you want it on your project and then go from there because some people don't like the feel of the the glue dots I mean they don't bother me but some they you know they kind of feel funky and stick to you a little bit so you know do whatever way works best for you and then I decide I want to put a bow and I did it off camera because oh you guys did not want to see me fight with that I am like the world's worst bow maker and uh, 
so you know I put it together and then I twist and bend and fluff and twist and bend and fluff for a good 30 minutes before I finally felt like I had it right and uh, so I'm just getting my fabric tack and I'm gonna go ahead and glue the bow on to the the project and then I realized that you guys almost let me forget that I needed to put my washi tape in the middle what were you people thinking <laughs> So I I end the video and then I realize I'm like, oh, I didn't put the washi in. So I come back, I use the plastic bobbin holders from Mama's Treasures, which I will link as well. And then I pull out two really pretty washies from Eyelet Outlet and use those to put inside because the person this one is going to I just thought that she would she would enjoy music and travel so those are the two washies and there's so much washing on these rolls that I'm able to share quite a bit and still have a ton left over to use for myself so you know they've got good prices there at Island Outlet on their washi and you get a ton of it so I will definitely make sure that I link all of those in the description there's my head yep there's me and my gray hair and uh, I couldn't find the tip of that washi that one you know how washi's just well it's thin you know so I mean I really struggled finding the the end of it but I just get it on and I'm able to share so much that makes me happy to do that and so I was able to get a lot on there and then I just go ahead, finish it up, and then I clip them on the inside of the book. Real easy. All right, guys, remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today, and happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.